Hi everybody, it's Jeff. Uh, we're going to do something just a little bit different today. I built this. And I finished it like a month ago except for weathering. And I got busy on the, uh, the uh, scammel and I kind of forgot about it. I put it in the case for safekeeping. And uh, I thought, well, I'll get get it out and get some oils and stuff on it here real soon. And then I forgot uh, until Jason uh, at Model Kit Stuff mentioned that he was doing his uh, year-end uh, subscriber video where everybody that wants to can send a picture to him for a slideshow. And I thought about putting this in it. I thought, well, that's not finished yet. So today I'm going to work on this. Um, this will be part 20 and it's in the uh, I do have a playlist so if you want to go back and see the build you can you can go get back and catch it from the beginning um, I did order a bulldozer today if anybody's interested it's the mini art kit uh, 35291 armored bulldozer and I ordered some paint and I ordered a kit for uh, uh, the big rig, or not big rig, I don't, I'm sorry. It, it's, uh, I believe I'm pronouncing it right, uh, Yoakum and Marcus's uh, wheeled vehicle group build. Um, I'll tell you what it is or I'll show you when it gets here. But anyway, um, I'm going to enter the group build. I plan on doing it with a kid I had here, but I just didn't have anything that was just, you know, something I felt like building right now. So I, I picked one up while I was ordering the paint and the bulldozer. So let's go down to the bench and we'll get a little oil on this, uh, on this little armored truck. And uh, then I'll send uh, Jason some pictures real soon. All right, be right back. Thanks. Okay. And of course, just as soon as I start the video, the furnace comes on which it doesn't come on anywhere near it as often as it used to because of the uh, new insulation. Um, just a reminder, there will be no video tomorrow. It's Thanksgiving and uh, there'll be family and stuff over. So I won't have time and it'll just be too loud, too noisy to, uh, to do any videoing tomorrow. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get a little bit of, of I wanted to put some Starship Filth. If I've got it. Let's see, that's a brown. Let's see if I can find the right ones. Gray is kind of a, well, you can see how stark it looks. Let's see here. I've got some Starship Filth. And I wanted to do some white. Here's our white. And. Yeah, even maybe some some blues or something might be interesting. Let's see here. Starship filth. There we go. We'll see. Okay. And I'm just using regular uh, mineral spirits, odorless thinner. What I'll probably, well, what I generally do is, <laughs> like I do this a lot, I'll make up a little bit of odorless thinners here on the on my palette and that way I can use that for mixing. I know with this uh, white it's probably kind of hard to see. Okay. It's always interesting when you First, first start on a, a nice clean vehicle, just how it's going to turn out. I see just a spot of dust in there. I still got the windshield or the uh, headlights covered with tape just so they don't get real filthy. That's about the only uh, clear part on this, it's just the headlights. Um, let's see, this is this our ship fell. I wonder. 
just thinking about which camera or a different camera would look better. I guess if I tip it up, you can kind of see what I'm thinking about here. The uh, instructions show a lot of dark down toward the bottom. So I was going to kind of keep the keep the dark low and then do a little bit of um, the lighter colors up toward the top. here. That's way too. I shouldn't have put so much thinner on it. I want to give it kind of a little bit of a streaked effect. Not too dirty, just a little bit. That's the nice thing about oils is you can add and take away pretty much all day long. thinners and my painting my thinners now. We'll have to see what this looks like when it dries. Way more on there than I really need. Once I do this, I might come back with my weathering pencils and um, highlight some silver edges and things where the wear is. suspension and stuff too. It wouldn't make sense to have the body filthy and the underside nice and clean. This will really change as it, as it uh, dries too. I'm doing, turning the brush, brush on the edge so I get a little more streak. Let's see what we can do here. Get it nice and messy. Then go back and get a little inside there too. I really like these oil brushers. They're 
kind of fun to play with. Uh, my wife's got a little bit of a cold. I don't know if you can hear her coughing. that uh, like if it rained on it or something A lot of fun. It's always kind of a surprise what you're going to end up with. A little bit back here. here well Jordan's looking for my attention hang on just a minute guys Trying to kind of streak it up a little bit. The biggest thing is, is that you don't want to leave like big clean spots. So if it's going to be dirty, it's going to be pretty much dirty everywhere. Okay, let's get a little on the front here. This stuff dries a lot quicker than standard tube oils. Uh, woo, that's way too much. Okay, let's spread some of that around. thinner and clean most of it off. You can also pretty much just make a wash out of this. Uh, put a little on there and then flood it with thinners and it'll run into the crevices and things. miss anything yeah I'll get the I'll get the inside too and the wheels 
back here. <laughs> Starship filth just kind of gives it a grungy look. Just keep working it until you're happy with the results. anything I might put a little some pastels on the back here and on the floor back there where muddy feet and stuff would be they do make some or I don't remember now if mini art has any I thought somebody had some figures that would work well with this but I didn't get them. Get my back a little dirty. That's moving along pretty good. You can it'll look a lot better once it's starting to dry. Let's see here. Just trying to get. I might do it this way. Just put a little here. Oh. <laughs> then I can just grab a little bit. Put it where I want it. That works pretty good. Okay. What are you doing there, Jordan? Guess he's gonna head outside for a minute. Go talk to one of his friends. The people next door have a dog too and he goes out and they visit every now and then. Well that's not looking too bad. You guys can see it. It'll look a little bit more subtle once it's dry. I did want to add some white streaks into it too. Make sure the hood's down nice and firm. really tight in there in that cab kind of hard to to do much a little bit there okay I think that's looking pretty good shakes okay I need to do some more work underneath down low because it still looks way too clean
Okay. Um. Just playing. Playing till I'm happy with it. There's still some down there. Lots of detail there that you want to get a little something on. It'll look a little different when it's dried. It's getting there. I like that better than the uh, plain stark gray. I'm not sure if I want to put any white on it. I'll probably come back later, like I say, and I'll do some highlighting with some some pencils just to do the edges and things, but. Get just a little more of the pressure here. Okay. I'll try and get a little more underneath here. really play with this for a long time. Okay. It's a little bit too heavy there, I think. Okay. Maybe a little more in the back. Okay. I keep saying okay, but I keep playing. keep seeing little spots that just look too clean. That I want to add a little more to.
All right. I'm going to leave that alone till it dries. I like that a little bit better than just the plain. Now I can see like back in here where it's still very very clean. So I might <laughs> I might play with this for a little bit longer. Gray just looks so so stark when it's just the gray. I think that's better now. Okay. If you can. I'm just looking for more spots that look too clean. Maybe that uh, fire extinguisher. Just a little bit there. Oh boy, wow, there goes Jordan in a big old hurry. Big ol' hurry. The light looks a little too clean. I think I'll go ahead and pull that tape off. Maybe get just a little bit in there. I can do it without destroying the lights. Lights are extremely flat, fragile. They're mounted on a piece of photo etch. <laughs> I can get a hold of it. There we go. Okay, let's just get a little more on the front of them here. Just enough to dirty them up just a little bit. He could play all day. Okay. I'm going to let this dry and look at it. See if I missed any spots. And uh, then I'll add a couple pictures to the end of the video. But I'm going to think that this is pretty much done. I might add a few pastels. We'll see. And like I say, the the uh, shiny places where the uh, wear might be, I might add a little bit. All right. Well, I'll come back and uh, take some pictures. I'll let this sit for a while. There's a big old blob of oil there. Alrighty, guys. I won't. Sh I gotta let this dry for a while, but uh, I might do a little bit with the uh, highlighting of the of the uh, wear spots. We'll see. 
but I'll put some pictures up after this dries. Okay, you guys all have a great day, and and uh, those of you that are here in the U.S. Uh, don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. I won't, cause we're having ham. But yeah, I like ham. I eat turkey all the time. Alrighty, guys. We'll talk to you later. Okay, bye bye.